as we sit here on the Nile River. It makes me think about how rivers are always the symbol for hope. They say that Moses or Moshe was pushed down this very river in the story that we're taught. So many creation tales and so many tales of magic have been on rivers. Uh, people cross rivers so that evil spirits can't touch them. In ancient times, you know, in modern times, rivers are a source of food and oftentimes water and power. People, when they were trying to get away from slavery in America, if they crossed the Ohio River, they were free. People would cross the Mississippi River to go further west to try to find new lands. There is a magic to rivers that symbolize hope. The power of hope, believing that you can make your life better. That you can make the world better. That there is a piece of magic left in the world. That's what the rivers represent. But so many of our rivers have gone dry. We have built up dams of doubt. Dams of despair. Dams of fear. Dams of trauma. Dams of hurt. Dams of greed. Dams of selfishness. And we have made our rivers run dry. It is time to break those dams. It is time to break those barriers and let that river of faith, that river of hope, that river of love, let it flow through you and let it flood the world around you. Let it be that nourishment that seeks down and gives nutrients and power and sustenance to those that need it, to those that are thirsty, to those that need you to grow so that they may grow. I love you so much, but you need to love yourself because if you love yourself and you love this world and we love each other, then we could change this world. And I believe we can be divine.